Alrighty, so this is uh, part five of my uh, build here on my what I've been calling my cart slash buggy. I'm not really sure what to call this thing. Uh, it's, I originally started off planning to build just kind of a small, simple go kart. It's uh, because of the motor engine. Some people don't like the term motor, apparently. <laughs> uh, I ended up using a lot more horsepower than I originally anticipated. So I am getting, this is becoming a little bit bigger, a little bit more complicated. And I don't, again, I don't know what to call it. It's kind of a, it's not really a full blown cross cart because it doesn't have rear independent, but it's kind of resembles a cross cart to some degree. Anyhow, today we are going to work on getting the jack shaft set up on the rear swing arm. Uh, I got to make mounts to get my rear sprocket on the axle, get my brake rotor on the axle. I want to get a rear brake caliper mounted. Um, I'll make a mount for the master cylinder, uh, get the chain set up where I want it to be, make a chain tensioner, and yeah, that's what we're gonna work on today. So uh, sit back and enjoy. So my exhaust uh, system that I was gonna put on here is turning out to be a fail. I'm running into clearance issues, so I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board on that. But I have also decided that I was trying to keep this thing under a certain width mainly so it would fit on a trailer that I have and uh, it just it's too narrow it's gonna look way too stupid and it's gonna be too unstable so I'm gonna widen this thing out quite a bit which is gonna give me more room for the exhaust now so the exhaust may end up running kind of you know in this area like how it would conventionally so uh, but before I do that I want to get a jack shaft mounted in here and uh, yeah because that's gonna take precedence over the exhaust and I'll have to build the exhaust according to where the jack shaft ends up. Okay, so those are clearly not my real jack shaft mounts. I just tacked that in place for now to hold the jack shaft where I want it. So now I can try to make some mounts. So that's just temporary to hold it there for now.
So I'm getting my lathe out here in the next little bit and uh, I have just this little tiny lathe. I wish I had a real lathe, but I don't. Maybe one day I'll be able to afford a better lathe so I can actually do more, but my little lathe still actually does quite a bit. I'm lucky to have what I do have. Okay, so I made this part up. Um, these are just like an X and Y hub that you can take and weld to your sp sprocket or whatever accessory you're using. But I took, I think it's a Y, a W. I took the W hub, got one of these plates, welded on there. And then on this side, I just put a great big, ugly, nasty looking weld on there. Uh, I didn't videotape it because just a lot of time me standing in front of my lathe cursing and swearing at it because it's such a tiny little piece of junk. But anyways, basically cut this in there so I can put this guy on there nice and centered and then I'm going to drill some holes, bolt this on with the intent. Uh, and I'm a little bit worried with not a power running that these keyways are going to sh shear off the axle. So now this part, I can actually weld solid to my axle, you know, be able to bolt and unbolt sprockets. Um, There'll be nothing, once this is welded to the axle, there'll be nothing on the inboard side of this. So everything like the bearings and stuff are outboard. So it's still serviceable. Uh, so that was my intention behind that. I also took a, another hub here and just turned it down. So this fits on there nice. And then I have to figure out a bolting system for this yet, but I'll figure something out. And uh, yeah, again, it's just so, uh, I'm just worried about the power shearing off those keyways. So. If I want to weld these solid to the axle, I can. So I how I ended up bolting my uh, brake rotor to the hub there is I cut some of these guys out on the, on the lathe and then just uh, basically bolted it all together because I cut the, the hub down so that it fit on there nice and true. Anyway, so I just kind of put it all in there, bolted it together, squared it up, welded it on, so works good. I think it looks kind of funky. That's what I did. So I picked up this here little uh, idler sprocket there for chain tensioner. Uh, it's 11 16 You can't buy an 11 16 bolt. So anyways, I took a three quarter bolt, uh, machined it down to 11 16 And then I machined the end down here. I gotta get, I gotta borrow a die off a guy there. And I wanna, I'll just cut that to like five eighths and then just build like a little shim to put in there. But anyhow, um, this took me forever on my silly little lathe, but I cut this piece down here. Um, I sh made the little chamfer on there so it doesn't rub on the bearing. This is gonna be my spacer in here. It all fits in there nice. And it's supposed to fit in there nice. And then I cut a little groove in there. Now I gotta, I wanna put like an adjuster bolt here so I can keep the tension on there. Um, yeah. So I'll probably have to get like some threaded rod and make a bolt long. I don't know if I'll buy a bolt long enough with threads on it. So I might have to make that as well, but that's pretty simple. Made up a belt or belt chain tensioner today. Um, yeah, I wanted to get this set up. I'm nowhere near ready for this yet, but I wanted to get that on there because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to run my exhaust. So I think now I'm pretty confident I can bring my exhaust, you know, out and over around, uh, basically how it would sit normally on the snow machine with some very minor modifications. So that, that is a good thing. Hopefully it should work out well and I don't have to change my exhaust a whole lot. And then I made this really strong chain guard there. So that's, that's awesome. That'll, that'll save me if that chain flies off. <laughs> I think I need to make a chain guard on this thing.
finally got my uh, wheel plates made up so I can mount these back wheels. Uh, and I lengthened my axle because this thing was way too gosh darn narrow. So I spent all the time narrowing the swing arm just to make it wider again. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so now I'm gonna try to put my exhaust somewhere in here. So I need to modify the, you can't see it right now, the end in here so I can get this to fit in there. And I wanna do that before I make extensions out to here because uh, I just wanna make sure I have enough room. I don't wanna leave myself short again. So, I need to figure out a way right now how to get this end and that end to mate. So we'll see what I can do with that. prettiest looking welds and it's never fun trying to weld old used rusty pipe um, so I took that much material out and added just this little elbow really and then just reclocked that uh, so it's actually a little bit shorter than it was. so it's actually closer to the expansion chamber so I don't think it'll affect the performance any so should be good okay so that brings us to the end of part five uh, Pretty much got the basic drive system set up on this thing now to be able to get power from the engine to the back wheels. So that's uh, one hurdle done. And uh, yeah, I think I went pretty well. So uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Send me a message. Hit the like button. Keep coming back for more. All right. Have a good one. And take your ease.